Hey fellow Vault Wearers, it's Angry Turtle and as you can see we are currently in my kitchen because we'll be talking about buffs, food, drinks, camps, alcohols, bubble heads, magazine, lunch boxes, everything and how they work and what I mean exactly by work, how do they stack, what you can use together and what you cannot use together. This is quite a complex topic but I will try to explain it step by step, possibly in the easiest way for you to grasp the idea of buffs. Basically, when it comes to the buffs, you have some base categories for it. The first one and most prominent one will be food and drink, but don't make it confused with food and drink tab, as food and drink tab contains alcohols and some other stuff as well. But we are talking about food and drink category, what means like brain bumps, brain fungus soup, or whatever kind of a drink, other soup, drinks like mute fruit juice or new cola. This is all food and drink. This is one category. This is important because some people get it confused and think that drinks like mute fruit juice and food, like for example, glowing meat steak, like those are two different categories. They are not. Food and drink are one category. And what that means, if you try to apply drink and food with the same effect, it will override each other. Like for example, if I try to use brain fungus soup and brain bumps, because they both are giving intelligence, one buff will be replaced with other. Whatever you use, the latest. Like if you use brain bumps, and accidentally use brain fungus soup after that, you will lose the buff from brain bumps and you will get instead the buff from brain fungus soup, even though this buff is weaker and lasts for a shorter period of time. Then that's very important to remember. The same buffs override, but different buffs stay. Like for example, you can have brain bumps that gives you a lot of intelligence and if you are farming experience, you can add Cranberry Relish to get bonus experience 25%. This will work together. And other buffs, you can keep adding on top of that. You can add Corn Zoop to get AP regen. You can add Cranberry Gem to get damage resistance. This will all add up. You can use Glowing Fungus Zoop to have radiation resistance. You can use Mute Fruit Juice to get extra agility. I mean, it's important if you are a herbivore or carnivore, I should probably mention in here that I'm a herbivore, that's why I'm using fruit and veggies related food and not meat related food. And here, look at that, another example, Nuka Cola Cranberry. If I will use it, even though it's a drink and I use Cranberry Relish that's a food, this buff, 2% buff, will override Cranberry Relish that is giving me 25% buff. Therefore, you never want to do that. You don't want to override a good buff with a bad buff. That's worth of caution in here. Here's another agility buff. I cannot use it because I already use agility buff. And if I use this one now, it will override it. Let's go back to my buff tab for a moment. You can see all my buffs in here. There are still some lunch boxes going, but they're almost running out but look at that mute fruit juice that i applied is giving me agility bonus and i have a lot of bonuses you can see they all add up different bonuses even though they are all food and drink category this is food and drink 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 this is all the same category in here and those two food and drink food and drink even though there is a different icon that's why it's so confusing in here even though they do have a different icon on your effect stuff they are in the one category for science i will show you that it's true i will use some other buffs to replace it like let let me replace the mute fruit juice buff i will use steep melon blossom chai with agility 5 then I go under effects and you can see the buff was replaced and for whatever reason Steep and Blossom Chai is showing bug out plus two when it should be plus five. But that's not important at this moment, it's probably just a display bug. 
or a new bug. I don't know. I didn't investigate further. It should be five. But the point is, it does replace a previous buff and the same with experience buffs. Let me use Nuka Cola Cranberry. I drink that. It's go under the buffs. You can see in here and it's a separate icon as well, but it doesn't matter. It's still the same category. All those icons, I don't know why Bethesda is giving us different icons when stuff is actually in one category. It should be just one icon with all those pictures. And I have now this 2% experience buff. Now I will use Cranberry Relish. We'll use this one. And you can see I lost the buff from Nuka, but I have a buff from Cranberry Relish at this moment. Then that's how it works. The buffs are being replaced. And you can see as well the short duration effect of eating food, this uh, health restoration, AP regeneration. This is only for 20 seconds after consuming this item and now it's just bonus experience 25%. That's how most food buffs and drink buffs works. Now we have more categories than that. Another separate category is alcohol. And there are some exceptions as well, but we'll go first based on the basic rules and alcohols are still under this tab and I can use alcohol together with food buffs. I will drink this whiskey and now I go under effects tab and you can see it's separate icon and this time it's actually separate category what means I can have this plus two strength from whiskey and simultaneously I can use food that will give me more strength. It will all add up, it will not override each other. But alcohol buffs are very short in comparison to food and drink buffs that tend to have very long duration. Some of them have two minutes, but that's because they're already running for 30 minutes almost. Then yeah, the food and drink duration, it's usually at least 30 minutes and some buffs going for longer than an hour. Now, totally separate category will be camps. They do work with all previous one and they do stack up. For example, if I take buff out now, go under the effects, you can see whiskey is still running and buff out is still running and food and drink buffs will be still running as I had them before. Even if I will use some food buff for strength, there is not too many and they're herbivores, unfortunately, there's only, I think, two drinks that give strength, but it will all add up. And this is separate icon, and that's correct. This is separate category, this is separate category. All in here that will be below, it's one category. Chems and alcohols, what I should say here as well, are different than food, in the regards that even if I use a chem that gives totally different attributes than buff tats or buff out, like I use this one with strength, endurance and max HP. If I use different one that totally shouldn't interfere if this will be food, it's not the case here. You have only one chem slot and only one alcohol slot. If I use Medex, I go under effects. You can see I have Medex, but I lost buff out then that's important to remember. The categories like alcohol and chems, you can have only one buff running at a time. What's not the case when we talk about food and drink category, when you can have one of each kind of the buff running. Like you can see if buff is different, it will not override previous one. But that only applies to food and drink category. Other categories do not work like that, have only one buff slot. And it's the same for magazine. Magazine is a separate category. When you have all the magazines, you can have one magazine active at a time and it does not interfere with other buffs. Like for example, if I use the experience in team buff, then I have this experience buff here from the magazine, but it does not interfere with my cranberry relish that is still running, then I can have both of those as those are different category. And bubblehead is another category, separate from previous one. Bubblehead, you can have one active at a time. 
For example, if I choose lock picking, I go under effects, it's still in here. Then you can see for two hours I have sweet spot for lock picking. But then if I use a different bubble head, for example, leader, I'm using the lock picking bubble head. You can have only one bubble head active at a time. And then a separate category are lunch boxes. They have their own category. In the past it was a little bit bugged, but luckily it was fixed. Therefore, lunchbox bonuses do stack with all other. They have its own separate category, then you can safely have all the lunchbox bonuses and they will stack up with your chem bonuses, alcohol bonuses, food drink bonuses, magazine and bubblehead bonuses. This will all add up together. Then to summarize the rules, we have food and drink category those two are together. This is the one category. And if there is a new Coca-Cola icon, this is as well the same category. Food and drink, it's one category. Second category is alcohol. Whatever alcohol, it's a second category. Third category is chem. Any type of chem, it's a third category. Then after that, any type of a magazine, it's fourth category. Then after that, any type of a bubble head, it's a fifth category. And after that, we have a sixth category for lunch boxes. They are all separate and the same buff. For example, I know it's not possible under every category, but if you will get a strength bonus in each of those categories, they will all stack up. They will all work together. And one exception for food and drink category, you can have one buff of each type. When all the other categories above that I listed, only one buff in total. And those are the rules. Now the interesting part, exceptions from the rules. And here where the fun starts. Let's start food and drink. Some of the bonuses, even though they shouldn't, they do stack. I will not be able to list everything. And there is too many of, of the buffs to test. And I don't even know myself every single buff, how it actually works and if an exception apply. But I will try to list some. If you want to know about like a specific food, you will need to test yourself. But now, glowing fungus soup and radiation resistance. This does stack with itself. And let me show you my radiation resistance 171. I'm using glowing fungus soup, five of those. And my radiation resistance is 421. Then it does stack with itself. You will get multiple effects from that. Even though on the effects tab, glowing fungus soup will show only plus 50 but it does stack for whatever reason, it does stack with itself. The next exception, a little bit different one under food and drink category will be melee buffs. I'm herbivore, then I will not show it. They giving me 0%, but whenever it says melee damage and percentage bonus, you can stack all different type of food with the same bonus and they will add up. Like for example, glowing meat steak. And if I will have mutant hound steak and I will put it all together. This will apply the bonus from each of it. Then that's a second exception under food and drink. Now that's maybe not exception per se, but interesting behavior of Sweetwater special blend. It kind of share two categories. It's food and drink and alcohol. It does apply under food and drink buffs though then it's not overriding any of your alcohols, but this buff have benefits from both herbivore and alcohol related perks. Then that's worth to mention in here. That's why you can have 15 perception boost if you will add alcohol perk on top of that from Sweetwater Special Blend. But still it's under food and drink category for bonus override purposes. Therefore, this five perception will be override if you eat any food or drink with perception bonus. 
you need to be careful with that. If you want to get bonus from Sweetwater Special Blend, don't eat or drink anything else that gives perception bonus, as this will override Sweetwater Special Blend. Next we have bonuses like Tato Zoop, that's with poison resistance. This will stack with itself as well, similar to radiation resistance. I'm not sure how many food with resistance bonuses will stack with itself, but that's a different topic to test. Now, the second exception, for whatever reason, Liquid Courage does stack with other alcohols, but as you can see, when I apply whiskey on top of Liquid Courage, Liquid Courage by itself should give strength bonus. The strength bonus will be replaced by whiskey strength bonus when I drink whiskey after Liquid Courage, but the fearless effect from Liquid Courage remains. Therefore, you can use Liquid Courage if you are a melee build to get fearless effect on Colossus fight and drink whiskey or new shine or whatever you want to drink after that to get your strength bonus higher. And that's the exception under alcohols. Now let me show you some exceptions under camps. For example, Excel Cam is giving two special for every single special. If I use this one and then I follow it up with example with Berry Mentats, this is kind of interesting behavior here. You can see I have Berry Mentats and Excel running and it still says special plus two, but after further investigation, I noticed that it's giving plus two to everything except intelligence because intelligence was override by Berry Mentats that I eat after Excel. Therefore, it's looked like Excel keeps plus two to every single attribute that you will not override with following up camp. And if you want to have all the special up and one of the specials even higher with specific camp, you can do that. This type of interaction is as well interesting for people that want to min max damage. It's similar behavior if we consider override and psycho buff or psycho tats. If I use override first, but that's important, use override first and I follow up by psycho buff, you can see now I go under those effects. Excel is still running. Like as I said, Excel will override only effects that you replace and it will still stay in here. That, that's, that's a specific cam. But as, as you can see, Berry Mentats is already not here as I overridden it with Overdrive and Psycho Buff. And now, because I use Overdrive first, it remains crit damage bonus, but it lost the damage bonus. It should be damage bonus 15% and that was replaced by Psycho Buff boost. Therefore, I can have crit damage bonus from Override and better bonus for everything else from Psycho buff running simultaneously. This is very interesting behavior under camps, as normally you can have only one cam running at a time. Let me show you what will happen now if I use Overdrive. Using Overdrive, going back under effects, and you can see Overdrive correctly remove Psycho buff bonus and apply itself then in some cases it's important in which order you will apply bonuses. But those are exceptions from the rules. The rule is only one cam at a time, only one alcohol at a time, only one magazine at a time, only one bubble head at a time. This is the rule, but as you can see, there are exceptions. One more time to summarize everything. The biggest and most important category food and drink. To this category belongs any type of food, any type of drink, including new colas And this category, you can apply one buff of each kind. That's the rule. For example, one intelligence buff, one experience buff. If you use two different food types with intelligence, the most recently used will override previous one. And now other categories, much more simpler rules, only one buff at a time, one alcohol at a time, one cam at a time, 
one bobblehead, one magazine, even if those are from different types. And then on top of that, lunch boxes for experience stacking purposes, up to four. But in regards of those little bonuses from lunch boxes, you can have all eight running simultaneously. And I think that's enough knowledge for this one video. I hope I didn't overload you with those informations. In case you still have any questions, please put them in comment section. I will do my best to address most of them. I'm not promising every single question because I know it can be a lot of questions. And one very important thing, if you have interesting combo of buffs that works together, please share it in the comments. I'm interesting what you guys were able to find. As you can see, this topic is very interesting and you can do some crazy combinations to stack up some of the buffs, even some that shouldn't stack in general. Then please let me know if you have something interesting that you found in regards of buffs. And now, finally, that will be everything for this video. And as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.